This video will be a review of the first law of thermodynamics and enthalpy chapter in the chemical thermodynamics and kinetics playlist. So our first video is on the first law of thermodynamics. We have our system, which is whatever uh, system of interest we're studying. Everything outside of that system in the universe is called the surroundings, and the systems plus the surroundings constitute the universe. First law says that the energy of the universe is constant. So conservation of energy. So any energy change of our system must be accompanied by an equal and opposite energy change in our surroundings. We then look at pressure volume or mechanical work where we can do expansion to increase the volume of our system or compression to decrease it, where the work done during those events is equal to the negative integral from the initial to final volume of the external pressure integrated with respect to volume. We define state and path functions, where state functions use exact differentials, things like dx, dy, etc. And path functions use inexact differentials with a lowercase Greek delta letter there. Heat and work are path functions, whereas energy is a state function, so du equals dq plus dw, and delta u equals q plus w. Ds indicating a small microscopic change and delta indicating a large macroscopic change. We can look at adiabatic and isothermal processes. Adiabatic processes where there's no change in heat or where there's no heat in this added or taken away from the system. Isothermal processes where the temperature stays the same. To find the quantities X equals NRT log V final over initial. The isothermal state, our energy doesn't change, our work is negative x and our heat is plus x, adding up to zero. In adiabatic uh, processes, the, this value y equals the constant volume heat capacity times the change in temperature, where the change in energy and the, and the work done are both this value y and heat is zero. These relate to the microscopic values from statistical mechanics where the amount of heat that we put in the system is related to the change in the probabilities of each energy level, and the work is related to the change of the energy levels themselves with the probabilities remaining constant. We can then define the function enthalpy, which is internal energy plus pressure times volume, allowing us to conveniently use that at a constant volume of our system, the amount of heat that we have it, in the system, put input into the system is the change in internal energy. And under situations of constant pressure, the amount of heat during a process is the change in enthalpy. We have heat capacity, which is the partial derivative of internal energy with respect to temperature under constant volume, or the partial derivative of enthalpy with respect to temperature under constant pressure. And those differ for an ideal gas uh, in the molar sense by R, where the molar heat capacity is the heat capacity divided by the number of moles in the system. We can look at the enthalpy change during phase transitions, the amount of heat it takes to melt water, or sorry, to melt ice or vaporize water relative to the integral of the heat capacity with respect to, um, with respect to temperature whenever we don't have a phase transition and then uh, whatever amount of heat it takes to break up those interactions in the phase when we are under a phase transition at constant pressure. We can look at the enthalpy during a reaction, telling us whether it's endothermic, it absorbs heat, or it's exothermic, it releases heat to the surroundings, which since it's a state function is equal to the enthalpy of the products minus the enthalpy of the reactants. And one thing we can use to help us calculate the reaction enthalpy is the enthalpy of formation, which is the enthalpy of reaction for going from our elements in their standard state, things like H2 gas, uh, carbon solid, any solid metal, O2 gas, etc., to forming whatever substance we have. Links to each individual video in the on-screen annotations, as well as in the description box below.